Like I always tell us, you can't hold my mouth. My mouth is assistant basket mouth. I said last week, um, um, follow me on YouTube. Some people will follow me on Facebook. Some people will block me for WhatsApp. I like them. Because there are no people that normally view my WhatsApp. Anytime I post a review, but since I measure that word, you will just cook and leave me. Because I will tell you the truth that will not be good for you. I need to help you. That is me for you. There are people that if you tell them the truth, they get angry. Don't stop telling them the truth. Are you hearing me? Keep telling them. Ah, yes, they will give you name. Keep telling them the truth. There are some set of people in life that they can't change and there's nothing you can do to them. How? Anybody you are talking to, the person will be referring what you are saying to another person. They can't change. For example, I'm saying you are pressing for in the church and you know you are pressing for the church. You be using your light to say, your eye, your eye walking up at your mother will say, hmm, it's Miss, Mr. Merabe that is pressing for in the church. Is it pastor is talking to? Such person cannot change. So anything you are doing and they are telling you, you are referring it to somebody else, you cannot change. It's like a man that said he wants to get married to an unhappy woman. Woman will not get joy. The man say, ah, he meet the girl. If mama die, papa die. So she is crying. So now me, I want to marry her so that she could be happy in her life. At the end, you'll be frustrated. Because anybody that don't have joy, don't have joy. I'm not telling somebody here. If you don't have joy, you don't have joy. They don't buy joy from anywhere. So if you marry such girl, they say you want to make her happy, you are wasting your time. Because in her, from the beginning, she don't have joy. Even before her mother died, her father died, she lost her job. She don't have joy. So if you marry such girl, your life will be useless. Because it is what she has, she will do what? She will give you. You now fall in love with a man. Anytime you see the man, the man is always cool. He says, yeah, this man needs somebody that will make him happy. Hey, yeah. Okay, what happened? I lost my job. Oh, God. Okay, let me just marry him so that anytime I'm with him, he will be happy. Ma, your, your second name now suffers. Because in that man's life, he has no joy from beginning. So you get married to a such man, you can never be happy in your marriage. That's how life is. If you are a happy man, you are a happy woman, if anyone gets married to you, you will be happy in that marriage. If circumstances come, it will just a little while, it will up because there is joy in that home. If you marry anybody that is not having joy in his or her life, the joy you will receive in that home is 10% out of 100. That ten percent out of fund it is when better thing come house. Maybe when you buy a car, when you build a house, when you buy anything new, they should go happy small, or you go happy small. After that time, you don't look. Because there is no joy in them. But I pray for somebody here. Anyone connected to your life, they will have joy. Amen. Oh, I say anyone connected to your life, they will have joy. What is relationship? Relationship is about enhancement. Somebody say enhancement. Relationship is enhancement. If I have joy and she has joy, we come together as one. Our relationship will be sweet. Enhancement. That is relationship. You bring small. I bring small. We do what in? We come together. It goes sweet. I don't get. You get. We come together. I go dream you. That's why if you marry today or you are in a relationship today, tomorrow you are complaining that the guy is not doing well, the guy is not love, the woman, the man is not love. They blind your eye from the beginning. 
to tell you that this one doesn't have joy. The first time you met the girl, he face be like Aso Rock. The first time you met the boy, he face be like Aso Rock. You ask him, Uncle, why is your face? And he said, This is how my nature is. That is how your nature will eat something you, you old. Yes, that's how your nature will eat. There are some ladies, they don't smile. Even though they talk to you, they talk to you, they like this. Mm -hmm. I best stop, Jared. They don't have joy inside them. I pray for somebody, you will have joy. I said, You will have joy. This is about to Romans 13. Romans 13, 1. I'll be reading from CEV translation. CEV translation. Contemporary English version. CEV translation. Please listen because we'll be underlining some places there. There are some areas we'll be underlining there. There are some areas we'll be underlining. Just pay attention. Romans 13, 1 to 7. Obey the ruler who has authority over you. Only God can give authority to anyone. And he put these rules in their place of power. Only God can give authority to anyone and give and put these rules in their place and power. And they will be punished. Underline that place. Underline number two. Underline number two. The problem about Christians, we read the Bible, we don't understand. The second thing about Christians, we don't even read the Bible at all. And that is why we always fall victim all the time. We don't read the Bible. Our half-brothers, which is the Muslim, listen to me. The Muslim people. Have you ever seen any Muslim man that is going to mosque carry, carry uh, Quran? Have you ever seen anybody? Their kurem is inside of them. Therefore, for the day they are small, the imam, their father have even cared and put that kurem inside them. So everything they are saying is, there, is inside of them. But Christian, we hold Bible in our hand. It's not even our life. If I say one of us now, more day till now, how many of us read our Bible? From where? I want to pray. Want to prosper. We are looking for miracle. You see, a Muslim, if he's going to mosque, he's always like this, with Jalamia. He's always praying. As he's praying, he's quoting it. Christians are going to church. Big Bible. No verse inside. That is in their head. So who is deceiving who? Number three. Rulers are treats to evil people. Not good people. This is not, there is no need to be afraid of authority. Do the right and they will praise you. After all, they are God's servants. It is their duty to help you. On the light of the word, it is their duty to help you. It is their duty to help you. Somebody say, what is your duty? It's not my duty. It's a, Pastor, it's not your duty to bless me. My choir leader can never bless me. My youth leader can never bless me. Who is him? Who is her that will bless me? I will tell you. 
Number what? Number five. Number what? Number four. After all, they are God's servants. It is their duty to help you. Because these rules have the right to punish you. They are God's servants who punish criminals. To show how God is angry. But you should obey the rulers because you know it is right thing to do and not just because of God's anger. Six. You must also pay your tax. The authority are God's servants. And it is their duty to take care of this matter. Several the last verse. Pay all that you own. Whether it is tax, fee, respect, or honor. I want to talk to us briefly this morning. The secret place of authority and power. Tell me about the secret place. Tell me about the secret place of authority and power. This topic is going to be two. I'm going to treat the first topic today. We belong to the church. Maybe next week Sunday I'll teach the second topic. We belong to the government. The first topic today belongs to the church. The second topic next week maybe we belong to the government. So pay attention. Why most people are not blessed and can never be blessed in the house of God? I will tell you the truth today. Not even only evidence. Any place in a gathering place. Any gathering place. Whether a church, whether a social gathering. Why you cannot be blessed? And even if you are blessed in the morning, in the afternoon you will broke. Even when God opens heaven for you in the morning, in the afternoon, the, close, the door will be shut down. It is not any man that shut the, down, the door down. It's you. Use your hand to close the door with anger. I will tell you why many cannot be blessed. I will tell you why many of us are suffering. I will tell you why many of us are coming to church every blessed morning, every blessed day. At the end, nothing is happening. I will tell you the secret. The secret place of authority and power is a place where things happen behind you or not to you. The secret place of authority or power is a place where things happen behind you or not to you. The secret place of authority or power is a place where power speaks for you or power comes against you. Just pay good attention. As I'm talking, don't use your mind and be saying, I am talking to Mrs. A or Mrs. B. I am talking to you. If you can accept that I am talking to you today, your life will change. I'm telling the gospel truth. If you can say that what I am saying now, it is for me. Forget it. You don't need prayer anymore. Your life will change. A secret place is a place where the king or the save. A secret place is a place where we praise men or we condemn men. A secret place is a place of communication in prayer. A secret place of authority is a place of blessing. And it's a place of course. Pay attention. Why you use your hand and destroy yourself? It may not be here in evidence. It may be the church you entered before you came. It may even be here. Why it look as if things is not more working for you? 
Things that had been working for you before, it has stopped working. I will tell you why. A secret place of power and authority is a place of judgment or where they conclude judgment. Any judge you saw that came out of his room to judge any matter, that matter has been judged in a secret place. That matter has been concluded. Before you come outside and say, you are guilty. You are going for five years imprisonment. That is why if anybody judge, this one will judge, this one will judge, this one will judge, this one will judge, the lawyer will judge, this one will judge. The judge himself will carry the whole evidence, go to his chamber. He will conclude on what to say. Either this person is going for 10 years imprisonment or is free. It's called a secret place. This is my question to every one of you. Hear the sound of my voice wherever you are watching us from. And everyone that is watching me here, this is my question to every one of you. What is working for you in a sacred place? What is that thing that is speaking for you when you are not praying? What is that thing that is working for you even when you could not open your eye, open your mouth and say, thank you Lord, I need money. What is that thing that is working for you? That is the question you will take home. Today. Is it the connection of your pastor and his wife that is working for you or that is working against you? Is it the connection you have within your leaders that is working for you or is working against you? Remember where we read? We're talking about authorities. Obey the authorities. They have the power to do what? To bless you. Today, in our gathering as a church, I told you I'm talking about churches, we carry our geo, our pastors, our wife, we destroy it, destroy it. And you are coming to the same church. And let that mommy geo, or daddy geo, or the pastor say, may God bless you this week. And you say, amen. You are receiving calls. It could not work. Why most of us not is no more working for us? All the fasting and prayer, whatever you are doing, we have used mouth to condemn the church. Use mouth to condemn the Jew. Use mouth to please the Jew wife. Use mouth to condemn the leaders of the church. Then you want to be blessed. You are wasting your time. You can't be blessed. You can't be blessed. Every authority you obey, every authority you fall under, and you say, this is my authority, this is who I respect, that blessing of that man will be working for you. That blessing of that woman will be working, even when you do not pray. They are your spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers. Anybody that bless his father, anybody that bless his physical father, his physical mother, their prayer are more effective. More than the prayer you pray. Even if you do not pray anymore, immediately your father is praying for you, your mother is praying for you, in that secret place, you will be activated physically. Then ask yourself, who is praying for you? <laughs> ask yourself, who is praying for me? Whose authority that is working for me? That is why you will come to church, you will be in church for four years, five years, six years. Today you will go front, tomorrow you come back. Today you go front, tomorrow you come back. Today you go front, tomorrow you come back. Yes. Anytime the leader is happy with you, your life open. Anytime the leader is angry with you, your life folds. That is just gospel truth. That is the secret of life. If your biological father is angry with you, your biological mother is angry with you, anywhere you go to, your prayer can never be answered. Unless you run under somebody that has more anointing than your biological father or biological mother. Then which prayer that is working for you? 
Is there one of us that talk about me and pieces me? Use me to do dinner in your house before you sleep. And you want me to stand at the altar and say you are blessed for you to be blessed. Or is it you that said, Mommy Joe is not enough to be your, your leader? She is too small to be your leader. And you want the prayer of her husband to work for you? You are lying. Evil men say, I see. You are a big liar. The prayer will not work. Is it because you know the pastors? You know their weak points? You say, who is she that will talk to me that I will listen to? Who is he that will talk to me that I will listen to? And you want their prayer to work for you. It will not work. Or is it the youth leader? You call yourself a youth leader and you are under somebody. And your youth leader asks you, why do you do that? I say, who are you? I force you to enter this church. Her prayer, his prayer can stop you. As far as you are under him or her. You are a chorister. You have a leader as a man or as a woman. Because you have big stature more than him or her. You say he cannot, he cannot, he can, he cannot lead me so that I will take. His prayer, her prayer will stop you. As far as you are under him or her. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I am not preaching. I'm not telling you the truth. Any authority you are under, any authority you miss, you, you, you scatter, and you are expecting that person prayer to work for you. Some man, you are wasting your time, even when you leave that person's house. That's why today, if your mother calls you, your father calls you, you leave, their, you leave your father's house, leave your mother's house, that calls will follow you anywhere you go. That calls will accompany you anywhere you go. So if you are a man that knows how to beat their mother, continue. If you are a woman that knows how to beat their father, their mother, continue. A time will come, your own children will also do what? Beat you. I love what the school teacher was saying this morning. He said, a time will come where your punishment will come. It will be shaking, pressed down, and do thing. It will run over. Your life will be in sharp corners. You don't respect the geo of the church, and you want to be blessed. You don't expect the momiju of the church. You want to be blessed. You don't expect the pastors of the church. You want to be blessed. You don't expect the leaders of the church. You want to be blessed. No matter their qualification, they are still your leader. No matter how your mother is, even though your mother don't know how to speak English, your father will have not gone to school one day. He is still your father. He is covering his still over your head. If he calls you, that cause will come to pass. That is what we read this morning. There is a many of us who are not blessed and who cannot be blessed. It's not cause. It is we that is our hand to cause it. We can't be blessed. If we are blessed in the morning, in the afternoon, it will crash. Verse 4. They are servant of God. He said, after all, they are servant of God. It is their duty to help you. That your leader you are talking down, it is the duty or her duty to help you. You may know how to vibrate more than him or her. It is their duty to help you. It is their duty. I don't know if Chidioke is praying. And Chidioke is praying today. Lord, bless the pastors. Lord, bless the workers. Lord, bless my department. Bless Sister uh, Choma. Bless Sister Jennifer. And Sister Choma, Sister Jennifer is not respecting him. That prayer will not come to pass. It will not come to pass. Oh, Sister Choma don't know how to talk. She's shy talking. Anytime she talks, people laugh. And he say, who, who is she, self? Who, she, who does she come to church? Her prayer can stop you. Because you are under her. As a what? As a youth. Who is that pastor? She cannot even speak good English. Who is that pastor? Who is there in church? I know him. I know his weak point. Somebody was saying, I, 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 know, I know his weak point. I don't know his point you know. Which, which weak point did you know? I know his weak point. I know what to say. If he, that is why I left the choir department. That is why I left the youth department. So that I will not have problem with him. Because he knows I know his weak point. So that if I talk to him, he will not punish me. If you talk to any pastor and you know his weapon, he will punish you and punish you and punish you, remain. Because you are older than. 
And that's why you are not blessed. You go home, you carry your leader. You use it to do caricature. As far as you are under the women leader, Mrs. Grace that doesn't know how to talk, she even to talk say nawala. He said, "Now don't be my woman leader. God forbid. If now don't be my woman leader, said, don't let me say that no, no women for evidence. Yes. As far as you are still connected to evidence, wherever you go and pray, that prayer will not be answered. As far as she can kneel down and said, Lord bless my women. It is those that respect that God will bless." So stop deceiving yourself. If you don't respect your authority, you are wasting your time. If you don't respect your authority, you are wasting your time. Every life of your life is just be useless. Instead of you to focus in life. Instead of you to focus why you are born. How to make your life better. And you want to be blessed. Let me just tell you the truth. Nothing is holding you. You are the one holding yourself. As Mommy Jo is here, you cannot de Mommy Jo her. Or on, on, on Mommy Jo her. You can't. That is just the gospel truth. No matter whatever you do, you can't remove Mommy Jo from her name. She's always Mommy Jo. No matter you do to me, you can't change my name. I'm the Jew. So all your plans, all your character, it will not even affect me. That just goes my truth. Say, I know what to do to make sure I say it's not a Jew. I know what to do. It's not more than a Jew. There's nothing you can do. You always affect yourself. There is nothing you can do to make my pastor to the pastor them. That from today you are no more the pastor. I remove pastor from your name. There is nothing you can do. They are already a pastor. They are already a pastor. Then why are you killing yourself? Why are you disturbing yourself? Ah, eh, eh, it is, eh, eh, who is that small guy that will lead me to the choir department? There is nothing you can do that will make Ella on, uh, on, on, on choir mistress or the choir mistress. is a lie. She is the choir mistress of evidence. There is nothing you can do. So it is better you just obey and follow her rules and regulations and receive the blessing covering the choir. Finish. There is a blessing covering the church. There is a blessing covering the pastors. There is a blessing covering the choir. There is a blessing covering the usher. There is a blessing covering the youth. If you don't obey the leaders on that department, you will suffer it. There are some men of us today now. We are crying. We are crying. I told us one secret one time. I said, if any time I climb my altar, I say, Lord, bless my children as they go this week. If you like, you shall amen. It will not work because you have scattered my name. You never even respect me. You just shout, amen. You help people that respect me to shout, amen. And God will bless them. Then you come back tomorrow and say, ah, God, not the church. God, they will. <laughs> God, they and who gave me that honor and that respect? They are enjoying it daily, every day, every day. If you are too big to be under that your leader, it is better you shift. If you say your father is not educated, your mother is not educated, you, this is, I, I, I forbid you to be my father and my mother. Better go and find your own life to live. A time will come, you will look for that ugly man, that ugly woman. His blessing must speak in your life. His blessing, her blessing. So people will say in evidence. Not only that they are like, I don't like, I don't like your wife. You are wasting your time. <laughs> because whatever I say, she must do what? Concord. If I pray for you, if her spirit agree, it will work. If you dis disrespect her and respect me, it will not work for you. Even if it works, it will not last. If you disrespect me and respect her and she pray for you, it will not last. Am I telling somebody here? 
So stop wasting your time. Love your leaders. <laughs> Respect them. Obey them. Now let me talk to you. In your lifetime, even as you are, anytime your leader is happy with you, do you just know how your life is? Hello? Anytime your father, your biological father, your biological mother is happy with you, are you not enjoying life? Anytime your biological father, your biological mother is angry with you, how far? Yes. That's how leadership is. Any leader you are under, once that leader is angry with you, that leader can frustrate your life. Bible says it is their duty to do what? To help you. They can frustrate your life. They have the power to tell you stand up, sit down, run. If you don't have to do it, you leave the department for them. You leave. You cannot come into somebody's house or somebody tell you three. You have to become a boss. It's not possible. I can't come to your house. I'm telling your wife that she don't have right to sit down in the chair that you are you 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 yourself you. No. About last three years, somebody woke up to me. There was a program that was holding the church here. There are enemies of progress everywhere. If you don't know how to pray, they will kill you. They will kill you. They will waste you. We organized that program Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That program was a massive program. So that Friday, I put Mommy Gio hand B, picture on the hand B. And people could not turn up very well. Do you know what person? Somebody woke up to me here. I was sitting here. He said, Daddy, you know why people not come to church? Because Mommy Gio did your picture. <laughs> Enemies of progress. <laughs> to Mommy Gio, they go, I said, What do you Mommy Gio can do with people not come to church? He said, Because people invest for her. Ah. That day, I don't need anybody to tell me this one man about enemy. I just carry red pen right out of my red book. <laughs> yes. You cannot disrespect my wife. You want the blessing of the church to come to you. You cannot disrespect me. You want the blessing of the church to come to you. You will just waste your time. And any place you go, as far as you disrespect the leader there, nothing works for you. If you work in the morning, mind my word, if you work in the morning, afternoon it will not work. So it is better. Whether you like the leader, you don't like the leader. Just do it. In. One of my one of my sons, the Lord asked a question in one of our uh, one of our Bible study or workers meeting. Is it possible to respect the person's God and don't like the person? And I laugh. You like God of evidence. You don't like me. Then who are you? <laughs> you just waste your time. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. You cannot love the mango on the fruit. I say, not go like the mango tree. You go climb, and not the mango tree, go climb. Then go climb. If you want your life to change from today, start talking good about your leaders. Talk good about your pastor. Talk good about your cell leaders. Even, they, they, even if they are not qualified to be there, talk good about them. And you see the blessing just come. The blessing will come massively. You don't even need prayer. Because in their secret prayer will be working for you. Their secret prayer. My son is not here. He was chatting with me last night. He said that your secret prayer is working for me. It's not in Lagos. It's not journey of to shout, Amen. No. I pray for him. Lord, bless him. His business, Lord, bless him. Whatever he's doing, Lord, bless him. Secret prayer. I never come here one day and say, let us pray for Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Jokuru. No. In my own secret prayer, I do what? I pray for him. <laughs> and he's walking. He has not condemned me. He has not condemned my wife. There is no day he will call. He will say, mommy, you call. I say, mommy, smile. Mommy, they miss you. Tell mommy, say, I go see him. And the prayer is working for her. 
Then it's you that is looking at me. Alpha. <laughs> Hello. You that is looking at me, you are complaining about government. Nigeria government. Let me tell you, Nigeria government not do anything. No. Now so you go be up to Jesus Christ come. If I the next one said go do it, you go worst. <laughs> It's only the secret prayer that will work for you. Tell your neighbor, it's only the secret prayer that will work for you. Tell your neighbor, it is the secret prayer that will work for you. Yeah. Respect your pastor. Respect your male leader. Respect your women leader. Respect your youth leader. Respect your usher leader. Respect your choir mister, choir master, choir mistress. Your life will be better. Any department you are, if you don't have any department, if you come to church, if they say shout, shout. If they say sit down, sit down. After closing, carry your Bible. Do what? Go home. The blessing will come. Not after closing. Ah. Where that guest for that side? What did they do? Ah, that guy. Now the new usher for the ah, usher. Who took? I beg. Who just not trust self? Now everybody put for usher. That blessing of the church will not come. <laughs> because as far as anyone is a worker here. God has placed that person on power. Where would they say? Obey all authority. They have the power to bless you. They have the power to unbless you. You don't have choice. There's a many of us, I keep saying it, many of us cannot be blessed unless we repent. Unless we repent. Unless we change. Or else. Nothing. We go old. I was telling my youth yesterday. I was not preaching. I was telling them the reality of life. Unless they have change of mind, things can become to work for them. Then the secret prayer of their father, the secret prayer of their pastor will be working for them. If you don't have change of mind, if you say he is not right to pastor me, she is not right. To pastor me, he cannot be my mommy Gio. He cannot be my daddy Gio. If not, be say I love the church. Now the church, they cannot be saying they come for anybody. You are wasting your time. You'll be coming to church. The usher at the gate will tell you, Daddy, please sit down here. Mommy, mm-hmm. 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 I like this place. Mm-hmm. I love this place. Ah. The blessing of that Sunday will not come. They are the first leader you have seen in the gate. Respect them. If there's a mommy, sit down here. Thank you. You carry your bag. You sit down. You respect. You are, you are happy. Don't look at that. Oh, why you tell me something? Go sit down in front or back. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. I don't want wahala. I don't want wahala. Even if God comes down from heaven with a pillar of blessing, you all will not be inside. Because number one, you have offended the leader and the authority of the church from behind. I place them there. Every department you are seeing here, I place them here. So immediately you dishonor one, you dishonor me. And once you dishonor me, the God that sent me will not bless you. I might tell somebody here this morning, have a change of mind, ask God to bless you. If you honor your leader from today, you will discover that your prayer self, you don't even need to pray. Things will be working for you the way you expect. Because there is no day your leaders cannot pray for you. There is no day. There is no day I open my mouth and I must say, Lord, bless my pastors. Bless my men. Bless my women. Bless my youth. And I believe some of the leaders say they are doing it. Lord, bless this one. Lord, bless this one. And you are not respecting that person. How will that blessing be given to you? Stand on your feet. Open your mouth and say, Lord, teach me how to honor and respect. Take away arrogance. Most of us, it's arrogance, pride that is killing us. We never build us for water. Aeroplane will not get. Car will not get. All the clothes we are putting on is shower shop, shower shop, shower shop. You see the carry body? It's people that is living in Banana Island. You are still living with me here at uh, 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 mainland. You might not pay house rent, 700, you say, oof. Why people are paying house rent? 3 million. 4 million. 
Say, Lord, help me to humble myself. Help me to respect my leaders. Help me to honor my leaders. So that the blessing that pertains to leaders will be given to me. There is always a blessing. That is why women today, they don't normally come to meeting. Because they, they are women. They, uh, who, who is that woman that will be my woman leader? You are wasting your time. As far as she is your leader. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. The only person or the only people she cannot stop that prayer. She cannot stop her stress prayer. She cannot stop Mommy Joe prayer because they are her overall. Anyone connected under her, you are stopping your prayers. <laughs> Pastors cannot stop Mommy Joe prayer at all. Mommy Joe can stop her prayer. Pastor Chibuzo cannot stop Pastors prayer at all. Pastors can stop. Pastor Shibuzo's prayer. Pastor Shibuzo can stop anybody's prayer as far as she's the head. That's how authority is. <laughs> authority. Authority. Who are you obeying? Who are you respecting? And you are coming to church. You look at all the church you are coming to is this there. Then what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Pastors cannot respect Momijio. Pastor Chibuzo will not respect Pastors. Pastor Chibuzo have not respect Pastor Chibuzo. Sister Choma from where will not respect them. Um, uh, Daddy Aka, oh, 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 Ella, oh, 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 yes, it's like that. Whatever you sow, you do what? You reap like that. <laughs> What's the head? Respect, I say, I give you your respect. Oh, everybody will be doing what? Give him, give him, give him, give him. That's why you are still one spot. You are still one spot. If you respect your leader as, as, as nothing, you will see his blessing or her blessing. Look at the women program today. If Mrs. Uh, 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 Mrs. Chibuzo can come and say, my women, I don't, I don't, I don't go to school, I never know it to be leadership, but let's pray. God bless our husband. God will bless her husband. <laughs> As a leader, because she's the head. She's the head. I was here yesterday, listening to the, the, the choir. As Ella was co coordinating them, I was watching them all. You see the administration today? Because Ella says, get up, they do a thing. Ella says, sit, they do a thing. But let one person say, uh-huh. Why is this man get up? I better stop him. The administration will be stupid. Once there is disorder, once you tell your leader you are a fool, you and yourself, you'll be what? You'll be fool. You are the one fooling yourself. Pray, open your mouth and say, Lord, help me. Help me. Help me, help me, help me to obey leadership. Help me to obey leadership. Help me. Help me to know what is called leadership. There is a blessing that is covering leadership. I just told you one secret this morning. I dare to tell you a secret that covers leadership. Many of us don't know this. It's a secret. Many of us have condemned our pastors at home. Condemn, scatter our pastors at home. I will be laughing. And you want this divine blessing. You can't get it. <laughs> you can't get it. You can't get it here. You can't get it. As far as I'm concerned, my pastor doesn't have any secret. At all. The secret you thought you, thought you know, it is what I know. It is what I know. There is nothing my pastors do here I don't know. She will only tell you keep it as a secret because for you and for your generation, for you to be better, she must give me feedback. Or I say, I, I, I know a secret. It's secret, you know. Ask God to help you to respect leadership. For you to be blessed is for your good. Lord, help me to respect leadership. Help me to honor my leader, my pastors, my daddy Gio, my mommy Gio, 
my senior pastor, my assistant pastor, my youth leader, my choir leader, my ushers leader, help me, my women leader, my male leader, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I don't told you one secret. If you like, you take it. If you like, don't take it. Next day again, we are still in one spot. If you change today, you see yourself between now and next year. Honor your leaders. Respect your leaders. And eat the blessing of your leaders. In a different way, I have tasted of your kindness. Jesus, you are too real. You are great God. In a different way, I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are too real. You are great God. In different way, in different way. Oh, I have tasted of your power. Oh, Jesus, you are to me. You are, you are great God. In different way, in different way. Oh Lord, I have tasted of your power. I have tasted of your power. Jesus, you are to me. Come on. 